The R3 approach is all about facts and realities having to do with genuinely improving at the game. If we are going to genuinely improve, it's going to happen because we have good information to help keep us on the right path in terms of continuing to direct our thoughts and actions towards the right things in the right way and at the right time. The six components of the R3 approach provides this good information. We can use the six components again to help keep us on track in terms of what it is we're working on and how it is that we're going to go about it. Component number one of the R3 approach, the five universal laws, pointed out five immutable, unchanging, simple facts about the game that we all need to keep in mind and be aware of. Component number two here points out the fact that when we do go about playing the game and attempting to improve the way that we play, we're going to be doing so from four different perspectives. With this in mind, let's have a look at component number two of the R3 approach, the four perspectives of playing and improving at the game. Component number two, the four perspectives of game improvement. As we begin directing our thoughts and actions towards genuinely improving at the game, it's good to remember the overall strategy, and that is to continuously do good work developing our golf games to the point where they can be seen and felt to be mechanically sound, physically athletic, and tactically fluid processes for playing the game. It's good to know at this point, too, that our improvement will, in fact, be an emergent process. In other words, our games will evolve as we continue to have our experience with and exposure to the game. We'll see that we'll be directing our thoughts and actions from these four different perspectives. Perspective number one has to do with our mindfulness as a golfer. It's our overall objective in the R3 approach to raise that mindfulness as a golfer. In terms of successfully doing this, we'll then be directing our thoughts and actions from the next three perspectives. Perspective number two tells us the golf club is a tool. It's our objective at this point to begin using that tool in a manner close to the way in which it's designed to be used. We then will be directing our thoughts and actions from the physical perspective. The physical perspective, as we call it, the lab, this is where we'll be building our golf swings, developing a more physically athletic motion in terms of mechanically swinging that club in a sound manner. We then will be directing our thoughts and actions from the fourth perspective. The fourth perspective has to do with our brain and the fact that we'll have uh, in order to actually take what we've got and make it work to the best of our ability, we'll need to become better tacticians on the golf course. So in terms of fulfilling that overall strategy and developing a mechanically sound, physically athletic, and tactically fluid process for playing the game, it's from these four perspectives that we'll be directing our thoughts and actions. In the R3 approach, we present the four perspectives in the, in the form of a pyramid. You'll see here again that perspective number one creates the foundation of that pyramid. It's from this point that we'll actually be building our golf games. We'll do so by directing our thoughts and actions again from that mechanical perspective, which again has to do with that tool, understanding that it's uh, required that we begin using that tool in a mechanically sound fashion. We then will be directing our thoughts and actions from that physical perspective, the lab. This is again where we're building our golf swings. Our objective again is to build a physically athletic and a mechanically sound swing action and then in terms of fulfilling that overall strategy of being able to take what we've got and make it work to the best of our ability once we're on the golf course, we'll all need to become better tacticians in terms of being able to take what we've got and have it work better for us once we're on the golf course. In terms of uh, the overall process of building a more mechanically sound, physically athletic, and tactically fluid process for playing the game, there comes a need to begin to blend these four perspectives together blend them together in such a manner that all four are working together in a fluidly good manner. This is where we begin to have a look at the blending process. As we begin to have a look at that blending process, we'll see that um, it actually introduces the third component in the R3 approach, the blending puzzle. When we have a look at the blending puzzle, we'll see the 16 characteristic traits possessed by all golfers. It's our objective to begin to develop each one of these 16 characteristic traits. In terms of the four perspectives, you'll see that the four perspectives occupy the four corner, four corner pieces of the puzzle, actually. The factual perspective, that's our consciousness as a golfer. And then the mechanical perspective, that's the golf club, the mechanical perspective. And then the physical perspective, that's our body and how our body's going to be supporting the uh, movements of that club. And then ultimately the tactical perspective. Tactical perspective, again, has to do with our brain and how uh, the fact that our brain is the control center for everything that's going on. So our objective in terms of developing a mechanically sound, physically athletic, and tactically fluid process will have us uh, understanding the need to have uh, all four of these perspectives operating together in a fluidly good process. 
when we do get to the point where all 16 pieces of that blending puzzle are functioning well and complementing one another in a fluidly good manner, we'll know at this point that we are in fact blending the four perspectives together in such a way that we are fulfilling that overall strategy. With this in mind, let's go ahead and have a look at component number three of the R3 approach, the blending puzzle, as it presents a, a good outline or a good blueprint in terms of uh, understanding exactly how it is and what it is that we'll be directing our thoughts and actions toward. Okay, that in mind, let's continue doing good work.